Hello, I'm uh, Clayton Wizard, and uh, I'm gonna try to uh, document. If I were to define Clayton in like one word, I'd probably define Clayton as a daredevil. Caring, loving kid who's always there for everybody. Determined. He'd do what he wants. Like, if someone was going to tell him, like, that's stupid. Like, he didn't really care. He was just going to do what he felt he wanted to do. Whenever he had someone new, he was very excited to show everyone, like, everyone what he's done. When he got something on his mind, he always did it. If I was just in the hall or just around, he would catch me and say, okay, come on, I need to show you a video. And he'd have videos of videos and pictures and everything about just all of these new things that he'd be doing. My favorite memory of Clayton was going down to the end of Geneva Street and driving his car down there like maniac. Well, I held on for dear life. We're going to Nikki this one house and uh, nobody would do it. And then Clayton's like, all right, I'll do it. And uh, so he ran up to the door and he tripped on the step went through the front door, like broke the front door down. We'd sit there and sit on the rocks and just talk about life and what's been going on in our lives. And we did that probably about like once a week. Went down their stairs, broke the railing, and then got up and then the person chased us. This one time actually we were, we were hanging out at Sam's house and we were just chilling, just hanging around. And he comes down and painted his face and hands all black. And it was so funny and he jumped out and just like, ah! I just like jumped out at us, it was so fun. He took part in uh, stunt driving and street racing when Ryan climbed out of his car into mine and then we tried to outrun a guy going 160 weaving through cars and we all got pulled over except for Clayton, he got away. I remember going to a party once and um, we were with a bunch of people and almost all of them got kicked out except for me and him simply because he just suddenly made a new friend. So. He was just instantly accepted no matter where he was. He jumped off a 65 foot bridge once and I don't know, I only cliff jumped because of him. Clayton's life impacted mine actually a great amount because he was like one of the only guys like when I didn't really have any friends, he was always there. Around the time that I went to high school and wanted to be social and more outgoing, he was there. I found that after being with him, um, just hanging out with him, I became a lot more outgoing a lot more willing to do things. I, I always found that Clayton was always like interested in what you had to say. I know he needed to talk to somebody, he was always there. He always, I don't know, was always looking out for the best in not only me, but everyone. He was there for everyone, that kind of thing. He taught me, he taught me that you can just go out and be yourself and don't let other people hold you back from doing what you want to do. He made me the like little kid that I used to be. He made me toughen up, do things I didn't want to do overcome some fears. He'd always have great advice to tell me and he definitely made me look at life on like, a different way. Kind of make, make me look at everything like it's not the end of the world or it's not like a bad thing. Like look at the positive that comes out of everything. Uh, he's my only cousin that was a guy that was around my age so we were always hanging out at family dinners and it's gonna be a little different now but. and that and this one here is at my cousin's where we had all the little puppies and that and that's on the uh, Chichimon he was throwing the uh, fire suit and had to do a fire simulation he was so excited about that because everybody on the boat was uh, 
taking pictures and videos and that. He thought he was Mr. Hollywood. Let's picture him one hour old. That was the first picture of him uh, when he was born. That's one of the first pictures of me holding him when he was born. That was one of his first Christmas. He wanted a fire truck, so I got him a remote control fire truck. We played for that for hours until the batteries died. And that. And that. That was another Christmas. That one there. And then when I seen this picture, I thought, yeah, that's what he would be doing at 3 in the morning. So just working around with them and uh, and I just, you know, last month there we took this big tree down in the backyard that we've been planning to do for two years and he started taking the tree down one day when I was out working and he took it down by hand with a handsaw because he, I don't know, he couldn't get the chainsaw started or something, I don't know why, but he, he did it all by hand. He started chopping it down and then, then we waited until I got back to take the big limbs down and we would sit there and argue how, you know, the tree limb would fall because we had it tied off and that so it wouldn't come barreling down so we'd ease it down and we were arguing which way it was going to swing and then uh, him hugging the tree as he cut it the limbs swaying over to him and he's hugging the tree and trying to get behind the tree trying to get out of the way and I'm sitting there laughing and that because he just looks so funny hugging the tree and, and scooting around the other side stay, trying to stay out of the way so that was fun. picture of Clayton with Courtney. She's on the paintball team, the only girl, but that was his mother when they were on road trips at tournaments. He, she looked after him, made sure he didn't get any trouble. This is the map of the galaxy. Uh, Ryan and his family bought a star in Clayton's name. And uh, this star is right there circled. That, and that's where to find it in the galaxy, I guess. And this is a plaque of uh, our synthesis, of, of it. It's all registered in uh, Sweden. The only one I can think of is when he was uh, maybe seven, eight years old, and we were playing at a park near tobogganing or something, and I was sitting in the truck. Uh, I don't know, playing with my phone or doing something, just kind of watching them. And all of a sudden, I seen Clayton running across the field chasing these three teenagers. They would be about 13, 14. They were bothering his sister and that, or, or, and that. And so he put the run to them. And that, it just looked so funny. I just laughed because it looked so funny. An eight-year-old kid chasing these three teenagers off the hill because they are bothering his sister. Uh, so that's, that's one that uh, uh, I can 
pictured here is uh, Clayton. First, second week he was in Tobamori working uh, on the Chichimang. This is on one of his uh, paintball tournaments. On that, this picture here is uh, uh, when we went to visit him halfway through. We were sitting in the bar having a drink, and uh, all of a sudden we, we heard the five-minute whistle from the boat. You got five minutes to get back on the boat, and we ran over, and the gangplank was already up, so he had to run in through the car plank ramp and get up in there, and we didn't think he was going to make it. And I said, just go up on deck and, uh, and wave to us that you got on deck okay. So he come up on deck and waved. Showing that he got on. And that, and then this picture here is the poster that they had made of Clayton, and they put that in the store. That was after the second year of winning the tournament. And, that. and then up there is uh, Clayton's uh, gun that he's always wanted, and that, and uh, that's where Clayton is. Just behave, just behave yourself, and, and we're thinking of you. And uh, watch over us, all, all your friends and everybody. Just watch over everybody, and uh, and we'll never forget you. seize the day and uh, he that was who he was he would seize the day and everything that he did he always uh, took full advantage of trying as hard as he could and, and it worked like that he was that kind of kid he was wonderful and uh, those are the kinds of things that I will never forget and uh, I think all of his friends are the same way in that they uh, hopefully take something from that and they will also seize the day I just want to tell him that like everybody like loves him and stuff like like, I don't think he realized how many people's lives he affected. Dad, I love him. Dad, I'm going to miss him. A lot of people knew him, and so many people loved him, and he, I feel like he needs to know that. Thanks for, thanks for the good memories, man. I wish I could have said goodbye. Life. Um, I know he lived it to the fullest, so I've got no excuses. <laughs> Definitely gonna try to make him proud. Let him know that I miss him, that I love him. I wish I could have been here instead of being in Calgary. I just wish that I could have spent more time with him. Everyone loves you, everyone misses you. And it's bye until we meet again.